Hey guys, Slow Star is here. I just wanted to mention a couple things before we start the video. If you guys can shoot me a like and a subscribe, that'd do me a big old favor. I'd appreciate you guys if you do so. It took us a lot of time to do this install and set everything up. Big shout out to Alex and Stratify for getting prints and everyone who has helped me along the way to set this up. It was very difficult to get it because this is the first time anyone has ever installed this on a Focus RS. So hope you guys enjoy it and like, rate, and subscribe, all right? Check it out. Once you remove the bumper, the headlights, the battery cover, disconnected the battery, and you remove the PCM, the PCM here is held on by about three bolts. They're eight millimeter, one, two up in here, and then three right on back here. And then once you bring that out, it should look something like this with the cover on it like this. There's about three, three torques. There's about three torques. I was about like T30. Same thing as the under tray. There's about three torque screws. Looks something like this, so you can focus. They're T30s. Once you remove those, you can take off that cover and then all the wires are now exposed. So we'll get to splicing and soldering. And so now for the wiring part, the wiring part is a pain in the ass. But I'm doing it for you guys, so it's not a pain in the ass for you guys. All right. So first wire we're doing is this blue wire that came with the watt box. And it is asking for a yellow with orange wire on pin 55. I counted all the pins. There's more than one yellow and orange wire. And it ended up being this wire right here. All right, guys, so I got the blue cable wired up. It was a pain in the ass. Um, when I cut the yellow cable with orange, it was not long enough to like have them touching. Like it was barely enough. So I had to get an extra piece of wire, solder it, make it a little longer, and then finally be able to tie in the blue wire. So it looks a little something like that. So let's go on to the next wire. I'm gonna go ahead and do the yellow wire and see how that one goes. I think, believe the yellow one's for the clutch. So yeah, stand by. So because <clears throat> pin 15 supposedly doesn't exist in the car, I owned out the wire. I teed it off at the clutch wire up there, ran that cable down. Taped it to my meter. And I started going through every pin and finally found out it was pin six. We got the clutch switch. All right guys, so where we're at right now is I just finished doing the the cutout for the coil for the coil packs. These up here, they have a pearl wire going into them, that's the power. That power source comes in from this fuse box. In other words, the battery junction box. So here's pretty much where I tapped into it. I'll put it I'll put a drawing right after this, but I don't know if you can see that purple wire right there coming out. Not the purple striped one, but the purple solid one. You see where the electric sleeps at? So you pretty much cut that and the part going into the fuse box first goes into the red. Goes into the red and the part going out, so. Th that part right there, you see where the, oh, you can see that. 
where that solid orange cable is at, that goes into the red cable, and then the other one goes into the orange. Hey guys, just to finish installing the wall box, it was a very, very difficult procedure for me. It was time consuming, it took me about three, four days just because I was on and off working on it. My friend had his wedding, went to go party it out. Luckily this is not my daily driver, but I do daily drive it. So where I'm at now is I just finished programming the wall box. Here are the values that I had to use. But pretty much everything you're gonna wire for this is down here on the EC on the PCM. So what you want to do is remove your headlights, remove the bumper, remove the bolts that go here for the PCM one. You have another one up here, up here somewhere, right there. And then you have another one behind it, and then you want to go ahead and pull it off, remove the torque spits. There's a little tiny hole here that you can run the wires out through, which I have here. Run up and out, and here's the wall box. So I tested it out, everything's working perfectly fine. Double check your connections and everything guys, I cannot stress that enough. I myself, my computer wasn't being read, or my ECU. The car wouldn't turn on, it wouldn't turn over, I was frustrated, tried several things and it was just check your grounds guys, check your grounds, your connectors, everything's good. Once everything's all said and done, you should be good to go and it should be A100. All I'm waiting for now is for my tuner to send me a tune disabling the OEM launch control and also disabling flat foot shifting on the OEM control on the OEM ECU so the watt box can take that all over. I'll post a video of me doing all that once we have the tune file and everything's all said and done.